So now I've got my washing machine actually mowing my lawn. Let me show you. You are not allowed to laugh at me. You are allowed to laugh with me. Uh, you are allowed to laugh at me. I laugh at myself quite a lot, so you're good. Anyway, let me show you. Good morning and welcome back to One Step at a Time Farmstead. I'm Lucas. And I'm Lucian. This is Lucian. And thank you for joining us today. Um, yeah. Smiles. <laughs> I just want to show you, I don't know if you can see from this angle, how tall some of our grass actually is this is where the brooders free ranged during the winter so some pieces of grass is completely scratched out um, but it's growing back quite vigorously oh, so the reason why our grass hasn't been kept as neat or our lawn hasn't been kept as neat um, is because our lawnmower burned out and well the motor burned out uh, that's because of you know uh, we are semi staying in a semi uh, rural area and we've got a lot of problems with electricity this week we've been without electricity for three days and that's on top of you know the daily daily load shedding of being without power for about two well, four to twelve hours a day. Yeah, then you have other disruptions because of the poor infrastructure and the lack of maintenance by our local municipality, the state owned company ESCOM. Anyway, so that creates a lot of fluctuations with our power where the voltage drops and spikes and I've lost a lot of tools and appliances um, due to that um, so yeah we had to innovate um, I didn't have the the money to replace my lawnmower um, so I had to innovate and now I've got my uh, old washing machine which is also got damaged by by the electricity spikes the computer unit burned out but the motor was okay so now I've got my washing machine actually mowing my lawn let me show you you are not allowed to laugh at me you are allowed to laugh with me uh, you are allowed to laugh at me I laugh at myself quite a lot so you're good anyway let me show you. So that's the motor that burned out uh, over there. Um, and I took out, you know, the copper wiring bindings uh, on the inside to reduce friction. And I used the little brushless motor um to drive you know the shaft that drives the blade so that i can mow the lawn and yeah let me show you So obviously it's not the ideal, it's not as powerful as the lawnmower motor is, but at least I've got something to go ahead and try and keep my you know, grass a bit shorter. 
Um, it works. I've mowed the back um, of our house before and here in the front as well. So today I want to do the side of the house and outside on the curb. Um, but yeah, there's an old African saying that goes a boer mark a plan, which directly translated uh, says a farmer makes a plan. And it's true, sometimes uh, in homesteading there isn't those funds available just to, especially when you're starting out to go and buy all new equipment as you need it. And you have to innovate and make a plan. And this is one of those plans. Um, yeah, so let's mow the lawn with the washing machine.
Ja, det kan man stå och se. Tack.